hey what's up guys this is Waleed welcome back so today I'll be teaching you on how to make your signature a vector so let's get started first of all I'll actually drag the image in my illustrator window the image I want to copy I'll press ctrl minus so I can see the actual size of the image placed now I'll press shift alt and then decrease the size of the image to according to my window now I press control plus to zoom in okay. so basically this is the signature I want to copy so uh, the main work would be in the layer panel so look the image I just pasted now what I will do is I'll select my pen tool and I'll start tracing on it so I'll start with this M I'll just zoom it a little bit I'll start with this M I'll click on the first letter I'll start with this M now once I've uh, selected a point I have to select an, uh, another point uh, let's suppose I select this point now I'll not release it. I'll click on the other point, but I will not release. I'll just drag. I'll just drag it to give it a shape according to the signature. See? And click, uh, select, uh, click the point in the center again. It's done. Look, this is, this is the vector actually, but it's white. So I'll change its color, its fill color to black. And I'll just decrease the size of the stroke a little bit. I'll keep it to one. Now, I'll again select my pen tool. I will select another point. I'll just join this. Okay. I'll select another point. Uh, let's suppose I select this point, but I'll click on that, but I'll not release it until I'm, I'm done with my shape. So I'll give it a, uh, this shape this M part so I'll give it that shape guys be careful in using your pen tool now select another point and just drag according to the shape you want this now another point actually this point Again, I'll keep my work going like that and back. And back. Select another point, drag, click in the center to go back. Again, select another point, drag to the according to the shape and click the center. So you will just have to repeat this for all the image. Click the center and center. Now this H, I'll drag it.
I'm changing it to vector. Press escape. Now this part. This part. I'll just zoom it. I'll just zoom it. Okay. This. This. This and this part. Okay. Now I am left with these two circles. I'll just go in my tool option. I'll just go in my tool option and press the ellipse tool. Now I'll press Shift Alt. I'll just drag my mouse according to the size I want so I want this size done but I want the color in fill not in stroke so I'll just invert it it's up to you if you want the color in fill or stroke okay no uh, uh, some part is left actually I'll just go back this part i'll select my pen tool again i'll invert it first now what i'll do is i'll do this i'll do this do this do this and this i'll press my direct selection tool and drag it on it I'll just drag it okay now it looks okay now what I'm gonna do is okay it looks good right and if you think that some paths doesn't look nice, you can just change using the direct selection tool and change the anchor points. Look like this. Now what I will do is I will go in layers and I'll simply just remove my image layer and I'm getting the signatures. Now guys, this is a vector actually, sorry. This is a vector actually, you can zoom it up how much you want it's it's zoom up till 1600 percent you can obviously zoom it up to 64,000 percent in this illustrator um, what I'm gonna do is I'll just do some parts neatly I'll go back zoom again just move this part a little bit on the right you can move it using your arrow keys okay with selection tool select the part and move it with the arrow keys done okay now I can change the color of the fill as well I'll go no actually these two dots have the color in fill the other part have the color in the stroke 
use my selection tool I'll shift I'll press shift and select all the words okay now I'll go in my stroke I'll double click this is all the color option I can change I can keep it to dark gray light gray any color I want I'll give it that color look it looks nice now what I will do is I'll change the stroke I'll go in properties I'll increase the stroke there you go I hope it looks nice right it looks nice there are a few things left but it looks nice so guys thank you for watching subscribe and do give your feedback defeated by the dreams and the memories we've made to see it crashing out the skies like a tidal